Well, James just replied again, and he said, you're so right. Damn right I am, James. I'm always right. Like I told you in the comment, you're better off safe, tucked up in your bed right now. And whatever you do, don't look at this horrible mug, okay? You'll be fine. You won't be traumatised. Well, hopefully you won't. <laughs> if you are, well, I'm sorry. Not. Okay? I shouldn't be sorry. I had every right to say what I said. When you dream of someone you don't want to dream of. Oh, don't get me wrong. Anthony Keith Jenkins is not the only person I, I, I dream of who's a complete twat. To me, you know, who's treated me unreasonably and won't listen to reason. Connor Bell, he's another fuckwit. <laughs> and once in a while, once a, once a year or whatever, he pops in on an ounce too, out of fucking nowhere. No fucking kidding. That's another weasel. Oh, there's so many fucking weasels. <sighs> Don't you like to kick repetitively in the crutch about 500 times, you know, with my motorised leg, if only. <laughs> I can just picture that now. Oh, I'm evil. Oh, I admit it. I'm a Satan worshipper, as I was accused of being when I'm not. See, people accuse me of shit, and they wonder why I fucking lose my shit with these idiots who just assume shit that's not there. You know? The fuck? <laughs> Where did these idiots come from? I call them idiots because they are. Where do they come from? They assume shit that's not there. And they're adamant on it. They're bloody adamant on it. And for the life of me, I can't understand that. I can't wrap my head around that. You know? And you tell them to their face, looking right dead in the eye, and you tell them that they're wrong, and they've got it all wrong, and they still don't believe you. What are you meant to do? And why am I... Why do I dream of these idiots? Why? What do they want from me? It's like they're missing me or something. And that's why I dream of them. You know? I don't want to be associated with people that don't believe a word I'm telling them. Especially when they're accusing me of shit. Like fucking with Anthony. He accused me of sending voice messages to his girlfriend at the time. It wasn't fucking me. I got the proof. It was my dad who done it behind my back without my knowledge it was not me how can he not tell that it was a bloke that was putting on a bloody drag queen voice that was not me but no he blames it on me oh maybe he thinks i was the one who told him to do it because in his eyes he thought i was scared and a chicken well he's got it all wrong you know i hate it when people assume shit that's just not there I just, I just want to grab them by the neck and strangle them to death. That, that's, 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 that's what I want to do. <laughs> like with dickhead Connor Bell. Oh, he drove me mad that day. Being out in his backyard with him, I should have bashed him. I, sh I should have grabbed his head and smashed it repeatedly into that damn fucking table. Ain't in his backyard, you know. Roma wasn't there, his mate that he was living with at the time. He wasn't there, he went out. And I came over there, we would have been around 10, 30, 11 a.m., okay? Um, he lived around the corner from where I used to work, right? Just practically across the road. Went over there, and here he goes. He starts going ape shit at me. You know, you're putting love spills on me and accusing me of shit. And he wasn't with it. It was, it was like he was on LSD or some shit. Being all airy-fairy, not getting straight to the point with me, beating around the fucking bush. He was just driving me mad. And I told him, where do you get that idea? Who fucking told you this shit? You know, where did you get this shit from? Accusing me of putting love spells. I don't put spells on people. But I get accused of it. And then he turns around and he's like, you're lonely. I keep telling him. And it's like the third argument I had with him. The other two arguments, he kept insisting that I was lonely. I know who I am. I'm not lonely, okay? But he seems to think I am. And he's adamant on it. He will not sway. He's like 100% adamant that I'm a lonely person, has no feelings. He said this to my face. 
and I lost it. And I should have smashed that mug of coffee into his fucking face. You know? Oh, he's an idiot. You know? Fucking. And why do I dream of him for? I dream of him too. Then I dream of the other idiot. <laughs> and then I dream of another fucking idiot that I haven't seen in over 20 fucking years. And he pops into my dreams unannounced too. I just wish I'd never met these people. I just wish I'd never associated with these people under any circumstances in the fucking beginning. Honestly, because I wouldn't be dreaming of them today. They wouldn't still be popping in my bloody dreams and ruining it for me. I had One time I had the most amazing dream. I dreamt of me and Andrew Kerr, my friend, okay? And that me and him were at the beach and we were having fish and chips and we had a four pack of alcohol, right? He had his two cans, I had mine. We're chilling, we're enjoying it. It was a beautiful day. We're looking at the ocean. We're yapping and catching up and having a good time. And guess who I fucking see? Wearing his flip-flops and his fucking shorts. The weasel. He ruined it for me. And he started yelling at me in the dream. Yelling at him. Insulting him. My friend. Oh, and I'm like, Why? I was having such a good dream, catching up with a friend. I even told Andrew Kerr about this dream too. And he's like, oh, what the fuck, you know? I told it, told him about the dream. And then he just comes waltzing in and starts abusing us. And I'm thinking, what the fuck? I'm thinking, all right. You know, I, I, I'm just annoyed, okay? So, you know, I didn't dream of him last night. Thank fuck for that. And I know for a fact I'm not going to dream of him again tonight. It's only either when they're thinking of me and I pick up on it because I'm an empath and I'm like an antenna and I'll pick up, up, up on people's emotions, their feelings, their thoughts, them wondering what's going on with Lizzie. I don't know why, but he calls me Lizzie. You know, fuck. <laughs> like, honestly. So I'm sorry that I'm, you know, annoying people out there about it. But you've got to understand it from my perspective as well, how frustrating it is, you know, to have a beautiful dream and then it gets ruined by someone you don't want to dream of. Because you know deep down that they hate your guts, they can't stand you, they despise you. And you don't want to dream of people who despise you, do you? And that drive you around the deep end, that make you want to fucking snap their neck like a fucking twig. I'm pretty sure you don't want to dream of idiots like that. You know, people from your past who treated you wrong, who done you dirty, who fucking assume shit that's not there, that try to gaslight you and do all this bullshit, playing games with you, fucking with, around with you. I'm pretty sure you don't want to dream of them ever again. You know, you want them to just, you know, be happy in their own fucking world and butt out of yours. You know what I mean? Fuck. You know... I don't want to dream to see fucking Connor Bell is from Sydney. Don't want to dream of him. Just want him to move on and be happy. And if he thinks of me every so often, just imagine I never existed, okay? God. I'll put that out into the universe, please. You know, make sure they never think of me again. So I don't fucking dream whatever they're thinking and feeling and their anger and frustration towards me. I pick up on it and I dream it. Whatever it is they're hiding deep down inside that they're not letting anyone else know, I'm dreaming of it. I'm picking up on it. And it's annoying. Extremely annoying. 